Okay, lesson eight. Let's just finish off this uh, amortizing engine now. We'd like to um, sort this out and just finish it off. We've we've built up all the infrastructure. Now we need to take it for a bit of a bit of a test drive. So we've got this far from lesson seven. Now we need to just do some um, uh, small, simple mathematical calculations again. First thing we need to do is we need to work out uh, what's the current interest going to be. Uh, from the payment, what's the current interest going to be? What's going to be just pure interest on the outstanding balance? So let's go for the current interest payment. We're going to calculate what this is. We're going to take the current balance, which of course in the first one will start off at 100,000. So current balance, there we are. And then that's going to be multiplied by the interest rate. The, remember, the monthly interest rate, which is the 5% divided by 12 to about, I think, some of that, 0.416. So what's the monthly interest rate? Um, so we multiply $100,000 by 0.41. It should come out to about $416 for the first payment. Okay, if you remember, the first payment is actually in total, if we use our standard figures, about 536, so that should leave us with uh, roughly $120 is actually paying down the principal in that first payment. Let's calculate that uh, here. So that's going to be current principal payment, about $120 or whatever it was. So we have the payment figure, which is $536 in the first run. Take away what we've just worked out, which is the current interest payment which is about $416. And that should come to about $120 or so. Now we've taken $120 off the original $100,000, so we need to reduce the principal. So let's do that now. Current balance um, is equal to whatever it currently happens to be, which is, in the first case, equal to $100,000. Current balance. And then we take off whatever that is, because we've uh, we've cleared that down a little tiny, tiny bit, $120 in the first month. And that's our three calculations, nice and easy. First of all, take the monthly interest, multiply by the principal. That's going to be your pure interest. Uh, the payment we already calculated earlier, so we take the pure interest off that payment, we see what's left, and then we take that off the principal to create a current balance. Then we add one onto the month, and we go around again. Of course, we can't see any of this in action, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, modify our output statement that we had uh, We had a little tiny bit earlier. Um, oh, I seem to have deleted it. Let's just rewrite it. It won't take very long. Okay, see out. And what we need to do here is, we, first of all, we need to say which month are we currently in. So let's just do that. So the current month is whatever current current loan month is. So current loan month. There we are. Super. Threw me a bit that not being there. I must have deleted it just before we started recording. Okay, let's uh, let's do the next piece of information. What would we like next? Uh, well, let's go for the current interest payment. So the current interest payment is the current interest payment. There we are. What we're going to do next, well, we'll do current principal payment. So current principal. Uh, current principal payment. So that's what we're pay pairing down the principal with. And then we'll have the balance, so. And the balance is current balance. Now we will need a new line. Otherwise it's gonna get horrible. It's gonna get ugly out there. And that should print out, um, well, let's see what it prints out, shall we? Uh, will it calculate? Will it compile? Sorry, will this cheeky chap compile? Yes, that's good. Okay, so hundred thousand, one, two, three, five, thirty years. Now we can see. Oh, that balance is no good, is it? Let's. Uh, oh, I forgot to put spaces in. 
That's no good, is it? Let's put some nice spaces in there. Let's try that again. 100,000... 5%, thirty years. Looks a bit better. It's a bit clumsy though, isn't it? This this is getting you can see it all there. Um so we start off with hundred thousand. Um uh, take the five percent, we divide that by twelve, that gives us about point four one six six seven percent. So we multiply hundred thousand by that for the first month's uh pure interest, current interest. Now we did pay 536, so we take 4167 off 536, we end up with 120. That's the current principle. We're taking the balance down. So 100,000 take away 120.15 equals 989,879 spot 85. And then that is then used with 0.41667. Percent. You see there's not much change there, we've taken 50 pence off and that's added 50 pence onto that and taken this down by another 50 pence than the first month but it's not a huge thing. Anyway we come down to the end and you can see that the principal's going down, the interest payments, pure interest payments are going down, the principal payments are going up until eventually the principal payments, the principal's really small near the end Just <coughs> two one two five there. So I'm gonna to have to cough over here for a second. <coughs> oh dear. I have a gremlin there. Apologies if that just blew your ear out. Right. Post post new year post new year bliss. Okay, and eventually we come down to the last month. And in the last month, the balance goes down to you can see there, the balance remaining is five fourth. Five three four one by five nine. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of interest. Most of the rest is principal, and we take the balance down. Two, zero loan payments complete. Superb. I think we're done. I think we've got time just to show you one extra little thing. I've actually found where my Xcode program is putting the executable for this, where it compiles the program executable. If I look in this directory here, I can see that we have a special program here and that's just being compiled. You see it's, uh, it's compiled one minute ago. So what we what we can do is we can actually execute this program at the command line, not through Xcode. And you can see we get the usual stuff. And and we could output that into a payment. We could put commas in there and turn it into a CSV file, pump it off to a database somewhere, um, stick it on a screen, stick it as a, you know, do some HTML processing with it, do whatever we want with it. I mean, this is just an executable program um, being generated and we can do whatever we want with it. Same thing again, you can see it's going down from 99,000 and going down all the way to the bottom down here going down to zero now it's not actually minus zero it's probably minus 0 0.0000001 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 or something and for fun let's just do it one last time but we'll change our usual figures just to see that we're getting something different so let's make it uh, 75,000 interest rate of 13% unlucky for some enter the years of the loan uh, 19 and there we go so 228 months and I think we're there I think we're done now what I'm going to uh, we, we've pretty much finished the engine now we've built the engine stop let's clear that we've built the engine it's pretty much done. The rest of it's a, a bit of a beautifying process now. So what we're going to do in the next few lessons is we're going to look at a few more C++ um, switches, structures, and things, just to make this report look a bit more easy on the eye. It's still pretty much machine code, isn't it? There, it's like the matrix. Uh, it's like the matrix here. But um, what we'll do is we'll try and beautify this in particular ways. 
and make this a, a more human readable format that we could um, you know that we could print on a report and send to somebody okay I think we've uh, I think we've done enough thank you very much and good night <laughs>